So, really quick, quick video. ASCs are coming up right now. For those of you that don't know what ASCs are, ASC stands for Automotive Service Excellence. So basically, if you're a mechanic or if you're in the automotive field, you get a chance to take these tests that allow you to be certified in a specific area of um, a vehicle, of a car, a bus, um, whether you're into paint and body, whether you're into parts, uh, service consultant, uh, regular automobiles, gasoline, whether you're into diesels, or uh, collision repair, whatever it is, there's all these areas of the automobile that you can get certified in to prove yourself in that area, so to speak. So right now is open enrollment. Actually, I think open enrollment is done, but testing is gonna go from now to the end of June or mid June, I believe. So I wanted to make a quick video because a lot of people think that they don't have to study to take a test. A lot of people think that ASCs are pointless. You don't need ASCs. There's always that discussion about, do we need ASCs? Are they required? Will they help you? Um, there's always that discussion about technicians that can fix cars, but they can't pass a test. And then there's those techs that can pass a test, but they suck at fixing cars. Now, if you got both of those, then you're you're pretty valuable to a company or to a shop. So, right now, what I'm going to be taking, this is why I'm making this video, because I, today I got confirmation. I got the email saying that my registration went through. My test is going to be April 13. The test that I'm going to be taking is my A1 engine repair. This is actually going to be a recertification. So every five years, you got to take this test. And retake it because cars keep changing. So I'm gonna be taking my A1 in engine repair, and and I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give uh, automatic transmissions a shot. I took this test back in I think last year, and I missed it by one question because I didn't study. I honestly I thought I knew enough, and I was like, ah, you know what? I know enough. I can pass the test. And that's how a lot of techs think. You think because you can do brakes, you can resurface rotors, you can put some pads. You can pass the ASC brake test. It's it's not the same. Fixing cars and working on the cars, it's not the same as taking the test. This test is more technical. It's more in depth as far as um, the way the system works. So I gotta study this. I have uh, about a month before I take my test. So I should be pretty good. Last last time I took it, I missed it by one question, and I did pretty good. So. If you're gonna be taking tests, I highly recommend you get this brand. Get this brand from uh, from Motor Age, and um, you're gonna pass the test. They actually have a guarantee that if you buy their books and you don't pass the test, they'll give you your money back. Just send them your um, your test results and proof of purchase, and they'll send you your money back. I didn't do that because honestly, I bought the whole series. I bought the A1 through A9. Um, so here, let me show you. So this is, this is what you get when you get the whole series. You get the A1, which is engine repair. A2, which is automatic transmissions. My A3, uh, I think it's inside the house. I'm actually in my garage right now. I was getting a quick workout in. Yes, I do work out. I do lift. Um, A3 is manual drive trains and axles. Uh, A4 is suspension and steering. That includes alignments and everything under the car as far as suspension goes. A5 is brakes. Then we have A6. But A6, uh, I think I lend it to somebody. A6 was actually the first ASC that I passed, the electrical ASC, and that came pretty easy to me. A7, A7 is your heating and air conditioning, and that is actually, I think, the shortest test of all of them. And then A8 is your engine performance. That's uh, check engine lights, diagnostics, uh, air fuel ignition, all that good stuff as far as engine performance. And, um, and then there's A9, which is light vehicle diesel engines. That's for, um, you know, a lot of new cars are coming out diesel now, like the Volkswagens, uh, turbo diesel injection, all that good stuff. So get yourself this whole series of books. I actually got this, uh, I want to say about eight years ago. And uh, they do help. They do help. So that that's, all those books is what you get in the series. That's what you're going to get if you buy the whole packet. I think that A1 through the A9 was about two or three hundred bucks but it's well worth it. Like for example, when I bought those books, the company that I worked for paid for my test and um, an ASC test to register, I think it's like 60 bucks and every test is like $36. So just to take one test, registration and test fee, it's almost 100 bucks. And then if you pass the test, the company will reimburse you 
if you if you sorry if you pass the test the company will give you a bonus they pay for your testing and then they give you a bonus for passing the test so it's worth it the only thing that doesn't come in this whole series of a1 through 9 is the l1 the l1 i bought separate but the l1 is the advanced engine performance but you can't take this test until you pass the a6 and the a8 i'm not sure about the a1 i think that one too now the A1, the L1, sorry, is a little bit more advanced. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult, but getting the book is going to help you. And as a matter of fact, for those of you that say that you don't need to study, these are my test results, okay? There it is. For those of you that say that you don't need to study, you don't need to study to take a test, these tests suck. If you pass this test with a company, for example, Firestone, when I took this test, I was working with Firestone, and they actually gave me a $500 bonus for taking this test, and they paid for it. So... Look at this. That's me right there from Pomona. This is back in April 2nd of 2015. And look at my score. This is just so you know that if you're going to be taking a test, you got to study for this shit. Come on, focus, man. So these are all the areas that you're going to be... Um... There it is. That's a little bit better. So if you want, you can pause this and go over it. But I got a 48 out of 50. So that means I got two questions wrong. So I got two questions wrong from studying for the L1. Honestly, I think it's worth it. Sorry about the dirtiness, I was working out. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna be taking the test, study for it, take your time, and um, get the Motor H series. I think now the Motor H series actually has DVDs. So if you're not a good reader, not if you're not a good reader, but for example, me, I'd rather watch a video than read a whole book on, on how to take a test or on, on anything. I'd rather watch videos because I can just push, push play and then just watch a video, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have to sit there and read, but when I do read, I have to read out loud in order for my brain to grasp it. So this is the way, this is what I would do if I were you, or this is the way I'd do it. This is the way I study for the test. So in the back of the test, in the back of the book, there's a... There's a Scotty Kilmer, and uh, there's a test. What I would do is take this test first, take the whole test, and then grade yourself. Once you grade yourself, here's the answers to the study guide questions. Now this is the way it works. It actually gives you an answer and it tells you why it's wrong. I mean, sorry, why it's right and why the other ones are wrong. So it's not only gonna tell you you're wrong, it's gonna tell you why and what you need to know. So this is a very good book. After you do that, you grade yourself. Say there's 80 questions, you get 40 out of 80. So now the 40 that you got wrong, you go and you study those. And then you go back and you retake your test and I guarantee you're gonna pass that test. So once again, I'll, I'll put a link to the website down in the, in the description, but the way you get these is, um, I think the website is called passtheasc.com and uh, Back when I got these, which is about five years ago, and they're very well taken care of. Um, no, more than five years ago. It was about, I think, 2012 when I got them. And I've always kept them because they're good to have. Um, I just need to pass my A1 to get recertified, and then I need to pass my A2, and then I get my Master Technician Certification status. So, um, yeah, that's it. I'll put a link down below. If you guys are taking ASCs, get the motor age. Um, also, another thing that's going to help you pass your test is YouTube. YouTube has a lot of good information out here. Um, Scanner Danner, people like Scanner Danner. People like Scanner Danner is an instructor, so that's that's a. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but there's a lot of good channels, a lot of smart motherfuckers out there. There's Scanner Danner. There's a homie new level. There's Ivan from Pine Hollow. There's Eric the car guy, but nah, nah. I know I'm missing some people. I'm missing a lot of people actually. Um, um, so yeah, that's it. Go to passtheasc.com, get yourself the study guides, get studying, pass your test, make more money, get a raise, and if they don't give you a raise, fuck out of there and just make yourself a more valuable technician. Yes, turning wrenches is one, but also the fuck you got in here is another one. So that's it. Um, really quick, just wanted to touch on that. Give you guys some tips on how to pass the ASC. I know right now, right now the testing is going on. And a lot of you guys are like, well, what do I do? Motor rage. Go for it. Tell them the homie Hector sent you. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.